viral post on board panda and many other viral sites telling the story of Rick Hachiko, a dog that had been living by the side of the road for two years at precisely the same spot where his owner died. The dog was there mourning his dead owner. When I saw it, I thought, what a beautiful story, how moving. I also thought this dog doesn't want to be there. This dog needs to be out of there because he's going to be crashed by a car. What made it worse was that millions of people had watched this video and everybody was making their own stories in their heads, but no one was moving a finger. So I thought, we're going to go there. We're going to get the dog. What follows now is what happens the day we went. And this is, I tell you, it's an incredible story. You have to see it. Please, I also want to remind you that this is a video that is not for entertaining purposes. What we're trying to do is we're trying to save lives worldwide. To do this, we need you. I have created a support page on Patreon. There's a link here. You can go there and you can join us. If you want to help us save lives, please join us on Patreon. But anyway, here it is, the rescue of Grija Chico. Report, a story that went viral in Spain, telling the story of the Greek Hachiko. This is this dog that has been living by the side of the road for the past two years because his owner died in that precise spot. So he keeps on going back to the same place. The locals are feeding him, but somehow they find beautiful and you know endearing the story that he always goes back to the same spot. So he's there. They're feeding him doesn't want to move. But the thing is that his owner is never going to come back and this dog is living by the side of the road on a curb. He's going to die any day now. It's a miracle that he's still alive after two years. So the news caught on the story. It's a beautiful and daring story. But no one has thought, hold on a second, this dog is there. He's going to die. His owner is not coming back. This is a beautiful story, but I think it's going to be really beautiful if we turn it around. So we've come to Greece to find that dog and to get him home. So we're now on the ferry to the island of Haida. In there we're going to meet someone very special. Her name is Valia. Valia is a YouTuber. She runs a YouTube channel called The Orphan Pet. I am Valia and I'm from Athens, Greece. And Greece is a country where the strays are too many, the shelters are packed and adoptions are rare. She's a rescuer herself, she's very well known in the animal rescue community and she's going to help us go and find that dog. Hopefully I will be able to convince her to come with us on that journey. We need a local contact and she will be great. Let's see what she has to say. I'm in the guy here. <laughs> How are you? Oh, so oh, nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. It's yeah. you. It's me. Oh my god. It's me. <laughs> How are you? Very nice to meet you. Wow, so what are you doing here? You're, you're on holiday? You're spending yeah, some time? I'm never on holiday. Oh, well, god. I am. <laughs> Not really. This, this is a beautiful place. It you is know, beautiful. I was here 20 years ago. You were? 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here 25. Oh. Yeah. In the old days. It's nice. Yeah. Nothing has changed. 
doing this thing? Doing the thing with the donkeys? Kind of, this is what I'm here for. Okay. Well, that, yes, it's, the problem with the island is that there are no cars. So the only way to get building material, to get yes. fridges yes. or any yes. electric devices up in the houses or to move the trash, it's donkeys or mules. And also they are used in tourism. So there are a lot of campaigns asking the muleteers at least to respect their living conditions and their working conditions, that they work less hours, that they don't carry so much weight, stuff like that, that they have access to food and at least water when they're working or shade. They usually don't. I read about the problems in Santorini. They were carrying same thing. huge tourists. Yes. The same? Hey, it's the same. The problem is that they were always using those islands because there was no other way to transport anything. So and this now, is the apart from that, way to it is tra it is kind of tradition. Apart from that, now they're also using tourism. So apart from carrying, you know, tourist luggage, everything you can get, you know, thank your new tools around the island. Anyway, how are your dogs? I follow you, and you. This is great. I tell you, you have the three cutest. Animals. Thank you. They are the three cutest uh, animals <laughs> in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the tiny, the tiny bulldog. What's her name? That's a girl, right? The bulldog. The bulldog. Laura. 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 Wow, she's the, the full name is Laura Clara Gonzalez Villaseñor. Oh my God, she has yes. more surnames than me. Yes. <laughs> this is very important. So she has two first yeah, names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Middle name yeah. 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 yeah in Spain, it's the same. The yes. more, the more important you are the more surnames you have. So Laura is very important. She's yeah, the one she, has, with the four she names. has four or five. The no? other ones have one. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, so we're gonna go back to Athens later. I mean, hopefully we, I get to meet them because yes. I only see them on YouTube. But it's, uh, yes, no, oh. you should meet them. You guys, I'm very excited about meeting you too. You guys, <laughs> you guys have to. You have to. You guys have to see her channel. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. This is the life of an animal rescuer and a communicator in uh, in Greece. It's a, it's a beautiful one. I'll, I'll give you the link later. You okay, can have a look. I'm blushing. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> anyway, welcome. But. I'm sorry that it's so hot. Hey, tell us, about, tell us a little bit about your channel, your involvement in animal welfare. How did it all start? Oh. It all started one day where I found my dog Apollo. He was abandoned right in front of my my apartment. So I did what I thought I should do. So I just picked him from the street and brought him home. And that's how it started. I just did a video about him because he was scared. He was abused. He was an abandoned hunting dog, wooden hand, uh, whatever. So I did a small video about him doing, you know, simple commands. He was an adult. He was an abused dog. I really believed in him. Now I believe in every abandoned, abused dog. I started volunteering at my local charity, doing videos for them, and that, that's it. <laughs> and and you, here we are and, with you. And you now have, <laughs> she now has close to 200,000 people. I mean, I know how difficult it is to get to that number. It is when you're on your own. But yeah, okay, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I, still, I still can't believe it. I like it. You Thank happy? you. That's it. Yeah. Yes, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy and I really, really love what I do. Is your channel the only one of its kind in Greece? Uh, how is not that, how really. Is I would like to think that it's unique. May, maybe. It's the only one that has maybe such a wide um, range of topics and okay. wide audience, I think. Are there any shelters, any other organizations that you like or enjoy? Or oh, many. Follow? I try to support and uh, usually I do videos. I might do some blog posts or take photos. I try to support anyone I can who is normal because there are people like everywhere there okay so anyone who has the same ideas like we have and believes in the same things yes I try to support them any way I can so I travel a bit it's, it's not easy especially in the countryside in Greece is a big countryside which is mainly basically one city which is Athens the outs the outskirts of Athens start being rural and as you move from there, it's a big, more rural area where animal welfare is an, an unknown world, world, literally. What do you think of the case that we're here for? We came to, to we saw this uh, report on the news, it went viral about this Greek chico 
and I was so sad because I imagined this dog living there for two years, waiting for the owner, never to come back, and he's never gonna come back. And no one is doing anything about him. They just like him there. Yes, I, do I, I, I don't know. And I think in a way they're trying to, to imitate because he was presented as the Greek Hachiko, which of course, whichever dog stays put in a place, in a place where he was abandoned or in a place where something happened, it's a Hachiko. So it's, it's, it's easy to present a story this way because it goes viral and it's very emotional. It's very human-centered also as a story because it has to do with the person also who died, not just with the dog. Because with four, five, we don't know the numbers exactly, but four or five million stray dogs in, in Greece. Five. So much focus on, on one dog on the part of the mainstream media. It has to be something that, you know, is, is different than all the other dogs. But those, kind of, those kind of stories. They, they really attract people's attention and I they think they have, they have the potential to change people's minds. This is why we rescue the animals we rescue. Yes, because every animal you rescue is like an ambassador for all the rest. Because you can't rescue them all. But you, you can make this one animal with this particular very emotional story like an, an ambassador and many people change people's minds about abandoned dogs, about dogs who have suffered loss, about dogs who have been hurt, abused, whatever. So they symbolize all the rest, and all the rest are billions, and in the world, almost I don't know, a billion. Wow. You think it's gonna be easy to find him? I hope so. Uh, I hope so. I believe in you. <laughs> you believe in us? <laughs> this is great. I, I mean, do. we believe in us I ourselves, really, but uh, really it's gonna be so. tricky. Yeah, he deserves better. I guess it's, it's, it's emotional. I guess the people, you know, like to tell and retell this story about his sitting there next to that, you know, little church thing that we built and someone just killed yeah. on the road. Yeah, because that structure is something that is built when there is an accident. Yes, there, right? yes, when there is an accident. Usually you can build it when you survive it also, uh, but normally, and that's how you know when if the road is very dangerous, you see a lot of them. You know, maybe there aren't any signs, you know, sharp turns, sharp left or whatever, yeah. but there are a lot of these, not on wood, anyway. Also, when uh, when you and I communicated for the first time last week, uh, when I didn't believe it was, it was you. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> story. things that sometimes people don't, don't, don't believe is me. They were like, "Is it really you, Victor?" And like, I'm "Yeah, sorry. yeah." Sorry. No, I have to say this that he is actually a very honest and very trusting person. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, but but we also spoke about this uh, other dog in uh, in the south, Kalamata, right? Yes. Yeah. What's happening with this dog? I mean, the pictures look terrible. The, the jaw was broken, and they told me that he had uh, hard work, uh, worms inside the heart. And yes, I, I happened actually. I happened to be to be there because I, I was trying to do a video. I interviewed some of the volunteers, so I happened to be there when he was brought in, um, and this lady brought him. So she, I can't really get the story straight exactly. Uh, I think he was a stray, and then they recombed him, and then. The new owners abandoned him again, or something like that. Somewhere in between all that, his jaw was broken, and he got heartworn. Wow! Yeah, so it's uh, so small, you know. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. It's like a, it's like a cocker, right? Or a cocker mix or something. Yeah, yeah. And you get those shelters with you know hundreds of dogs. The majority are, uh, you know. Mixed breed, mid, 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 mid size, like you know, 20, 30, 40 kilos. And suddenly, when you get the little ones, they're all dogs, of course, and we love them all, but those little ones, like, oh my god, it's just so small, it's just so small, in such a big world. <laughs> the thing with this doggy is that not only he has the jaw broken, but he also has hard work. Unless we get him, this dog is gonna die there. And I've seen pictures, and I, I know they're doing a wonderful job. They're really trying hard, but this dog is just not gonna make it. So we're gonna try to go back to Spain with both dogs. Um, it's not sure that we're gonna be able to even find one, but we're definitely gonna do our best. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh, you see, some dogs don't know how lucky they are because they're now you know somewhere up on the street, you know, hungry, thirsty, whatever been there for years. But there's Victor Larkin <laughs> who is planning on, you know, going to rescue them. 
Sometimes people Weird. are sometimes people are shocked. They don't know how lucky they are. Yeah. Well, I really hope it works. Sometimes people are shocked when they find out that we are going there just for them. But oh well, it's a brave new world, I would say. Thank you for coming to Greece. Before you say anything, this guy is yeah. staying here. I can't carry a plane load of cats. Okay, <laughs> don't ask me again. It was wonderful to meet Valia. We spent a few hours with her in uh, the island of Hydra, and uh, she really helped us getting a, getting a grasp with the reality here and what we're gonna face tomorrow. I really hope that tomorrow she can join us on this uh, journey to rescue rescue this poor dog. But um, we we'll see, we we'll see. She's really busy. She's about to to send a dog to the United States and she's incredibly busy at the time. So we'll see. Now we are driving. We're gonna stay in a very special place. I have a few friends from a, from a previous life and one of them has lent me his apartment. I think it's a really nice gesture. I haven't seen the guy for many years, but when I when he heard that I was coming to Athens, he said, look, look, I have a place, it's empty at the moment, stay there, stay there with your friends. So, I thought, okay, that's gonna save us some money. So we're gonna stay there, let's see. ¿Pero qué es esto? ¿A qué se dedica tu amigo? No sé. Espérate, 60, aquí es. ¿Es aquí? Sí, es aquí. It's a nice thing my friend did. But be careful. I'm gonna I'm gonna contact him. This is great. This is really great. Steve is playing. <laughs> Little present for you. <laughs> he left a he left a bottle for us. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Amazing, really? Tell me if I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Steve something that uh, we're here and this is Yeah. Look I met Steve in, in Africa. Uh, many years ago, and uh, he was um, he was doing uh, he was doing um, intelligence supports, or that's that's what he told me. Very interesting. Sometimes he would call me from from Africa. Sometimes he would call me from Southeast Asia, from Russia, and 
And years ago, I heard that he was based here in Athens. We're going to go pick up Valia. She's gonna join us on this trip today. We're gonna rescue this dog no matter what. We have to find him. It's gonna be really difficult, but we're gonna get there. But now, first, we have to get out of this place. This is a, a mess. Look at this. That was my parking spot. <laughs> Victor. <laughs> Valia's Anno Basiliki. Vamos a Anno Basiliki. Sí, sí, el artículo que era. We're going to Anno Basiliki, Chalkeia. Este, ¿no? Sí, supuestamente este. Sí, se está cerca de acá. Cruzamos la puente cuando lleguemos. Y después. Sí. Pues aquí está. Vámonos. Sí, from Athens to Anno Basiliki. Let's go. Vámonos. Espero que esté allá. Estará. Estará. Le des un mirado. Como les voy a ir a ayudar para sentarlo. No me quiero imaginar una mía. Un ratito. No. Que qué marca. Valia, this time. I have noticed there are, there are less dogs. Last time I was in Athens, it was 20 years ago. And I don't see as many dogs as I saw before. In, in the downtown, you mean? Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, downtown. See, 20 years ago, to tell you the truth, I, I don't know, but I know that they collected them all before the Olympic Games, which happens, not the first place this happens. They, they need to clean everything up and clean their streets, so they're annoying. So, I don't really know that story very well, but I know that eventually vol volunteers stepped in and they took them to a, to a shelter. So, those dogs left the center then, and now these ones are new ones that suddenly appeared. Maybe they're less because it's so hot, <laughs> so they keep hiding. There are not that many, actually. I remember those two dogs. There was one, there was one Canelos, and he was like an anarchist dog. Yes. He was always Okay, and, and, then, and then there was another one after. Lucanicos. Lucanicos. He was the same. They looked alike also. I think they were, had the same color. They did the same thing. It was the riot anarchist dogs. They were very famous. Yes, I mean, very. Especially the, the last one. Well, I remember Lucanicos because he was the last one. Canelos, I was younger. There aren't so many photos and videos of him. Uh, I think. Incredible doggies. They were and, amazing. They were like people. And I think people like them because they always took the, the right side of the fight. <laughs> We're heading to Padra to, to try to rescue this dog, the Greek Hachiko. That, uh, I don't know if he even has a name. We're going to have to look into this, but what do you think but we're going to find? You see, we didn't, we didn't, there was no mention of the dog's name. No. <laughs> Unbelievable. There, there wasn't. Yeah, maybe they didn't know. I, I, don't, I hope that he's, that he's there. I don't know if he's near that, that village that is mentioned in the article or his like between villages or in the middle of the of the road which looks like he's gonna be run over it's a very dangerous place to live in I really I really I hope he's there. I really hope that he's there. I mean he looks friendly and very sweet. 
we are ready to be insecure. Yeah. He looked in, in that, that. Yeah, he was like, like shy. Yeah, yeah. We are we're ready to give him a great life. If, if he's there, I promise you, his life is gonna change like you wouldn't believe it. No, but I we're mean. also but we're also ready not to find him. There's also a chance that he's not gonna be there. So this mission might end up in failure after all. No. I mean seriously, I mean it happens. Really guys, it can if you're watching this, we don't know how this is gonna end. No. This happens a lot and you get you get a call or you see a dog or whatever, you wanna go rescue and they tell you he's there. You can drive for three, four hours. It's like a wild goose chase. You never know. Because it's just a dog on the street. You don't know if he's gonna be there. Yeah. Anything happens. I know many people that are gonna be watching this. I'm gonna say, especially after what happened to us the other day in Tunisia when we went to rescue two kitties, they're gonna say that this is not worth it, that this is this is ridiculous efforts. And do you think this is good for something? Or are you one of those ones think that this is crazy? Me? Yes. I've driven hours and hours for one particular dog. It's, it's, it's always worth it, especially for this one animal whose life you change. When you see these stories and you connect with the, with the animal and his circumstance, it's really difficult to forget them. I mean, I get lots of letters from people who ask me to help exactly. certain animals all around the world. They ask me, please help this dog. Nobody tells me, help the dogs. I, that's, that's not... We're humans, we, we get focused on stories and we on specific animals. I don't know, I mean I really think that this is that this is a good thing. I'm trying to find something appealing for the dog, and there's nothing, but look what we got. Cat food. They love the smell. So maybe one of those is gonna work. We see, but it's close. This is gonna work. If he's there, when he sees this, he's mine. We're getting close, only tw only 10 minutes, 12 minutes to where the dog is supposed to be. I'm so stressed. I have no idea what we're gonna find. I have no idea if he's gonna be there. Now, factors, no? Is it another one? No. No, there's another roundup about this. This is supposed to be the way. So what happened? You think he's gonna be there? I don't know, I hope. He has to be there. Where else, would, where else would he be? Come on, he has to be there. Yeah, what happened if yesterday a car ran him over? What happened if he's already dead? Well, I mean, well, okay, he, he's already dead. They say he's been there, yeah, no. They say he's been there, they, they say he's been there for 18 months. 18 months. So if he has remained alive for 18 months and he was, you know, run over yesterday, I don't know. Yeah, so, okay, well. Can't be that unlucky. No, we can't. Like Not even a dog can be that unlikely. No. Please keep an eye. It's a turn that bends to the left. Remember the, the video? So yeah, it was yeah. a turn that bending to the left. So there was a side, it's mountain side bending to the left. Wow. There's been so many accidents here. You can see there are lots of, uh, you know, remembrances for people that died on this road. There's lots of them. We are driving between the mountain and the sea. There's a hundred meter cliff over here. And this is where this dog lives. And people are so happy. Oh, oh the Greek Hachiko, the Greek Hachiko. The Greek Hachiko? How can we do this? Ah, it's a turn like this. It's a curva como esta. Mira, 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 mira. mira. Ahí murió alguien. En España ponemos flores y así, aquí ponen capillas. Sí, sí. Vale, fija, ok. Just, just please, please have a look. And uh, they say that it was near an animal shelter. So if you see an animal shelter sign, that's the way. I don't know. It's a charm like this.
Wow, this is so We stressful. won't see a sign for an animal shelter. Sign for the nearest village, probably. Things that I know, if, if people know that we're going to get this dog, they will create problems. They, will, they won't let us have him. They would rather... Anyway, I don't want to think about it. You know that there is this movement in Greece that uh, it speaks for, you know, the animals belong uh, on the streets and that we steal them when we rescue them. And you, you get that, you go get the dog and you're like, what are you doing to this dog? Leave it there. It belongs here, doesn't belong to you. No, so Mira, 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 mira. Que vinos mira. Es que esto es la nueva o la vieja. Esto me parece que esto parece la vieja. Pero no vamos a el a a a vinos, vamos a este pueblo supuestamente. Claro, vamos al pueblo, pero está en la carretera que va al río, me dijiste, ¿no? Sí. Eso decían. Pues vamos a ver por aquí. This is the spot. Wait, 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 wait. So this is the spot. This is this is. Estará escondido en una sombra. Vale, espérate. Vamos a ir, vamos a ir solo Sergio y yo, vale. O veniros también. No hagáis mucho ruido. Look, this is. We found the place. This is it. We found it. This, uh, this is where this dog lives. So now he's not there. So we have to we have to find a place where he could be. Esperamos. And he's there. He's there. Está ahí. Está ahí. Está ahí. No os mováis. No os mováis. Está ahí. Está ahí. Está ahí. Está ahí. Está ahí. Ábreme. A ver. A ver. Voy yo. Voy yo. Voy yo. Ande que voy yo solo, ¿vale? Está ahí atrás. Está ahí atrás. Hola, ven aquí. Mira, mira. Hola, 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 Should have believed in him more. Not the dog, I mean. We're gonna leave a note for the people that have been taking care of him. Vamos a dejar una nota para para la persona que lo ha estado cuidando, vale. Nos hemos llevado al perrito. No te preocupes, estará muy bien. Contactaremos al periódico. Vale, sí. Vale. No te preocupes, estará muy bien. Lo verás muy pronto. Wow, terrible. So we have left a note for the people that took care of him, telling him not to worry. We got the dog. We can leave him here, and we are promising him that we will call the newspaper, the local newspaper, and we will tell them where he is and what happened. This is so great. This is so great. This is look, we've done great things, but this is one of the best. This is one of the best we've ever done. So happy. It's good, huh? And guys, thanks to all of you who help us get over here and do this because this is thanks to you
Increíble. Incredible. We are so happy. Unbelievable. And now we are going to save another dog. I will tell you more about this tomorrow. But before you go, I want you to see how this story ends. I'm going to show you what happens when we get to our home in Spain. This is a chico's new life. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. How could I ever let you go now when you're looking like that? I can't get enough of this. Being with you is a never ending sunshine. You got your high heels on. I'm wearing my worn out jeans What could go wrong? Sipping on a beer, sing along to our favorite songs All I want is you You make my world spin round and round Sometimes I don't know what to do Cause my heart starts racing when I'm with you Like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. How could I ever let you go now? When you're looking like that, can't get enough of this. Being with you is a never ending sunshine. A never ending sunshine. cannot tell you how many difficulties we had to rescue this dog. We had to face all conceptions of animal rescue. We had to face people who didn't want him to be rescued because they thought the story was cute, because they believed that by mourning his owner, he was uh, expressing his wish. The fact is that Hachiko needed a home. He needed to be out of danger and it's our obligations as human beings and as animal rescue to do precisely that. Good morning, it's four in the morning. We are at the airport. We are going to take Hachiko home. Where are we going? I cannot tell you. It's gonna be a big surprise. He's so nice. Just to think that he was outside on the road for so long, just there waiting, not you know, not able of moving, scared. It's terrible, terrible. And when you think that those people wanted him there, and when you think that so many people were against his rescue. Wow, seriously, can you imagine how we feel? Is this the best feeling in the world? <laughs> this is a great victory. But wait, wait. You're gonna see the life that he's gonna have. now in Frankfurt <laughs> so we're now in Frankfurt in Germany but this is not the end destination of a Chico the trip has just begun we're changing planes now a couple of hours wait but it's gonna be worth it the 
gate is Z62, Lufthansa, Frankfurt to to where, to where, to, we don't know, <laughs> we don't know, yes we know but it's a surprise. <laughs> we are about to board, look, there's so many people, so many people waiting. You know what? Sometimes we get comments of people that say that we go on holidays, that this is all, that we go on crazy trips and this is just a holiday. Uh, yeah, we are just crossing the world back and forth in two days to go on holidays. Look, let me tell you a quick story. I have two four-year-old children and on Monday is the first day of school. You know, that moment when the parents take the children to school on the first day, I will not be there because I'm taking Hachiko home. So I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I'm actually very happy, I'm very proud of what I do and what we all do. But if you ever hear that we go on holidays for the dogs, just, uh, just think about this. I don't know if you have children or not. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But if you do, I'm sure you remember that first day of school. I will not remember that day because I will not be there because I'll be flying back. Anyway, on the good side of it, this is what I just received from home. Look at this. I have two very beautiful children. They're very happy. And hopefully one day they'll be very proud of what we've done over the years. So, let's fly. The seat is 94H, which means that we are at the back of the plane. Statistically, it's the worst place to, place to sit in a plane. 94H. That's it. We are in New York. That was the surprise. Uh, Hachiko has been adopted in a, in a beautiful place up north, about an hour and a half drive. I'm gonna take him there. This is, uh, we love New York. It's an amazing place. And every time we come here, adoptions are always so successful and really, we love the place. So let's see if he comes out of the oversized luggage area. New York, New York. <laughs> Terrible weather. So now we're gonna we're gonna take the car. We rented a car, we have a big box. This is uh, something that you have to do, so we're gonna Jamaica. Honestly, I was expecting better weather, but you know. Winter is coming, winter is coming. <laughs> This is, this is America, everything is huge here. So, he's comfortable, he's had a good trip, 
and now we're starting the drive home. Hi, Hachi. Welcome to America. Sí. <laughs> Qué coche más grande. Wow. This is so big. Look at this. Okay. Yeah. Holy. Whoa. Nice, buddy. Cuidado, cuidado, que está lloviendo. No, no. no close this. Too thing. much, too much. Cerra esto, cerra esto. Vale, ahora. Venga, vámonos, va. Qué bien. So nice. Look at this. Sí o no, si es por aquí. After an eight hour flight. We are in New York, and what are we doing here? We are bringing Hachiko home. Hachiko is this dog that we rescued from Greece last month. It's one of the most heartbreaking stories that we have ever encountered. Hachiko's owner died by the side of the road, and then he kept on returning to the same spot. And he had been living there under the scorching sun for nearly two years. The family of the owner instead of taking the dog home and just giving him a normal life. They say that they brought him back to the house, but he kept on escaping. Honestly, I don't believe it. Now, after all this time and after having had him with me for, for a few weeks now, I can tell you that Hachiko was never brought home. They abandoned him by the side of the road. He had nowhere to go. This poor animal had nowhere to go. What made it even more absurd and surreal is that millions of people knew where he was. Everyone knew his story. It went viral. It was in Bore, Panda, The Dodo, Newsweek, Time Magazine. It was everywhere. And this poor dog, while the world was watching and thinking how beautiful he was, he was just dying there by the side of the road. So we went to Greece and we rescued him and it was one of the most beautiful moments that we have ever lived as rescuers and as, as, as human people, really. That was just so beautiful. This is, look, we've done great things, but this is one of the best. This is one of the best we've ever done. So happy. It's good, huh? So we brought Hachiko with us to Spain we took him to the hospital, he was fine, full of fleas, but, uh, but he was okay. And he has been with me for a month. During this time, we looked for the perfect home for him. There were some people that wrote from Spain, from Germany, from all over Europe and all over the world. So we had a wide variety of, of options. In the end, we chose the family that we felt uh, could provide him with a better life. I'm really happy that we're here. And I think this is going to be the perfect ending for Hachiko's story. We're now on the way home and uh, you're gonna be meeting the family and you're gonna be seeing how he's gonna live. And, and I want you to compare the life that he had before and the life that he's gonna have now. And this is what we're doing here. We are giving them perfect lives. We want these animals that have gone through so much, we want them to have better lives than our own. So this is it. Hachiko, Hachiko, in one hour you're gonna be home. Are you happy? Tell me, are you happy? Okay, he's happy. <laughs> now the traffic jam, New York. This car, this car has a heating system on the on, on the seats, and also has a like a refrigeration. Let's see if it's, it's over here. Yeah, that one. Wait, 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 wait. The feeling? Wow! <laughs> oh my God! It's like a. Ooh, this is great! Oh my God! Wow! How nice! <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, American cars, really, I, I prefer German cars, they're better made. But when it comes to comforts and 
gadgets and things like that. Wow. My butt is cold right now. This is just great. Look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Fantastic. I have the same, but yours is, my one is white with no modifications. This is great. Really cool. We are nearly there, we're five minutes away. This whole area is so beautiful. There's forests everywhere, you have beautiful homes, left, right. Wow, it really is, it's so beautiful. Wow. Today has been a really bad day because of the rain and stuff, but I think tomorrow we're gonna have such beautiful images. Uh, did you bring your drone, Sergio? Yes, of course. You brought it. Wow. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Hogar Dulce Hogar. of abuse and lots of every country is different every country has different problems yeah and in Turkey where I was living the situation of the animals was was worse I think in Spain you have lots of great homes yeah but also lots of abandonment and abuse. yeah I think it's like that in the U.S. with different parts of the country as well. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. It's a you know certain certain states. Yeah, sweetie, of course.
house, he was barking, he wanted to get out all the time. Yeah. And he was, um, you, you see the little mini pincher that I have? Mimi? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was like pestering her all the time. Yeah. Pestering, pestering yeah. her. Now he's, he's more relaxed. He's, yeah. He's chill. yeah. He's chill. I don't know. I'm more worried about the cat being mean to him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just put her in another room for now where she can't access just because I, I just want to make sure. Mommy. Yeah. Mommy. Come in. You have an amazing yeah. place. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, this I'm is like it. our yeah. our little like where we enter our yeah, mudroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mudroom. Do they call it that? Okay. <laughs> Hachi, que estás muy a gusto aquí, madre mía, ¿cómo vas a estar? Tienes niños, tienes niños que antes no tenías. I believe there were several times where I was like, well, if you want to bring more than one over, you can bring them all over. <laughs> like, any of the friends want to come? Anyway, maybe, I guess, for next time. Sure. I mean, I, and I really hope there is a next time yeah. because this guy is super social. Yeah. Really is. Yeah. Is... He, he's going to be, he'll be totally. First of all, I'm here all day. Yeah, and I, I, I don't leave, you know, I work from home. I yeah, wait yeah. for the kids. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, so I'm excited for that. You know, there's all this like amazing hiking trails and creeks and puppy play days happening. <laughs> Everyone's all into it. I've got like 20 texts. Like, is he, is he there yet? Is he there yet? <laughs> so Anthony is Italian, but he looks a little Greek. So maybe, oh. <laughs> maybe the Greek Hachiko will like the Italian looking Greek Anthony. de invitados, una cosa muy, muy guay y civilizada, y, y ahí está. Buenos días, buenos días, ¿qué tal la noche, madre mía? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está la noche? This is much better than the road sign in Greece. Definitely. ¿Qué tal? Venga, tú vas a jugar, ¿verdad? Ain't nothing gonna wrong. It's just me following the line that the stars have drawn. That's why.
This is where the roll dog baker lies, the bird in there. Beautiful place. It's a really nice place to be, huh? Yeah. It might seem bold, headless and careless, heading out in the cold with no direction. But let me tell you, I heard a YouTube guru say. Vamos a, vamos a desayunar. Let's go have, let's go have breakfast. Ah, chico had a great night. The kids slept with him. His life has changed so much. So in the morning half and the evening half. What is this for? This is because he was neutered the other day. Oh, so, right, got it. So anti-inflammatory okay. and infection. Oh, got it. But he's, he's so, so um, half, 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 half. Got it. So half, three half. more days and yeah, half at night. Days. Half and then morning. One at night. One, one. Wow. Two more days of that. Okay, got it. I wouldn't be able to watch something like this without breaking into tears. <laughs> <laughs> It's 12.30, we're leaving the house, we're gonna be heading to New York and then flying back to Spain. But before we go, we're gonna join the family in... Uh, in <laughs> they are going to play uh, soccer. The, the kid uh, is going to soccer school. Today is the first uh, class, the first lesson. So we're making a family outing with them, with Hachiko, and we're gonna meet some of their friends. It's gonna be really nice. The place... The town where they live is gorgeous. It's a nice, beautiful, wholesome American family. And we're gonna spend a couple of hours with them doing what they do on a Saturday morning. We're so happy we came here, so happy. about yesterday your smile your style so fly my oh my as 
this time stood still I got the urge Still a kiss and so I do Now I'm embarrassed but just a little bit Oh there must be gold on those leaves And honey on those Eh? So now, yes, this is farewell. <laughs> oh, It is because of rescues like this that I'm so proud to have built this amazing community. But that is not all for today. I'm bringing you another rescue. The rescue of Coffee, a dog found with a broken leg so badly that he was going to need a pretty dramatic surgery. Have a look at this. This is Coffee. Look how he was at the beginning and don't miss the end. Coffee. Today I'm going to introduce you a very beautiful dog very special dog and hopefully you will be able to help me saving his life. I received a call for help. There was a dog in a pound about to be euthanized. They sent me the pictures, they sent me a video and what I see is a friendly dog but he has a really terrible fracture. He can't step on that leg and I don't see anything else. He's next on the list. So we went over there. They didn't let us record anything inside the pound. Usually these places are very restricted. But when we got him out, we immediately realized how friendly he was, and also how bad was the fracture. We drove to our hospital. We arrived there, so friendly, wagging the tail and greeting everybody. Vamos a chequearlo, vamos a tranquilizarlo. Y hacemos las radiografías. Venga, uh -huh. más bueno, míralo, mira. ¿Y qué información tenemos? Lo que vamos a sacar en una carrera. Ahora mismo. Sí, ahora mismo. Vale. Siete kilitos. Parece simpático. Uy. Todos son una lisma en Sí. Sí. Lo que es la trufa. Sí. Vale. Sí.
first thing we did was to, to drew blood. We drew blood to look at his levels and to see if there was anything else. He has anemia, he has leishmaniasis, a terrible disease that can kill the dog if he is not treated. And all along the way, so friendly, really. He's an amazing, amazing dog. So we sedated him and we proceeded to uh, perform a full test, a full set of X-rays. Have a look at this. Que tiene una fractura. Sí, una fractura de estas viejas vale. que ha empezado a formar. Lo que es que tiene una rigidez de toda la extremidad. Vale. Eso yo no me lo puesto en este. Sí. Tenemos anemia. Aquí hay anemia. Como consecuencia de la leishmania, las proteínas y las globulinas están elevadas. Tenemos posibilidades de tratamiento. Esa es la, la clave. Vale, ahí lo que tenemos básicamente es una fractura antigua con lo que se llama una no unión. Si no se interviene, evidentemente no se va a poder hacer nada. Vale, claro. Todo esto está contracturado, debido a que la extremidad ha estado durante claro, mucho está. tiempo eh, flexionada. Vale, entonces, eh, eso nos imposibilita llevar la extremidad completamente extendida. Uh -huh. Y habrá que trabajarlo muy bien a nivel de fisioterapia y rehabilitación, porque si no va a ser un problema añadido, igual lo más importante es la fractura. Cuando ya esté bajo el tratamiento y hayamos podido bajar un poquito la leishmania, ya nos podemos plantear el hecho de, de estabilizar esa fractura. Vale. ¿Vale? vale. Básicamente. Perfecto. Hola, pequeñín. <risa> Esa tu amiga no ahí. <ríe> Vale. ¿Qué? Qué bueno eres, ¿no? Venga, Rita. Nos ponemos todas las gafitas. ¿Te acuerdas de esto? <risa> ya sé que no, no la apaña mucho al pobre. Pero... A él no le gusta mucho. A ver, el de sí. Uy, uy, uy. Es muy guapo, pero no, no la paña. A ver. Ay, muy A bien. esa carita pequeñita. Sí, que te quieres. Claro, quieres que te los quite. ¿eh? Toma. Te toca a ti también. Ya, ya, ya lo sé que no te gusta. Ya. También, ¿no? Se dedica a restregarse contra nosotros para quitárselo. Es eh, guapo. A ver. Te apoya, pero no apoya, claro, la deja... Sí, a ver, la deja apoyada, pero sin cargar peso, pero... Sí. Qué bien te cuidan, ¿eh? Ay, hostecito. No ayudes, ¿eh? No ayudes. ¿Qué tienes? Venga, se pone. Me gusta que te masajen aquí, pero tengo que masajearte la pata. 
Ya lo sé. <risa> Es que tú ves, cada vez que intentas extender y masajear un poco, el perro contrae, obviamente. Yeah. Entonces, es que es algo muy suave hasta que se cansa. De vez en cuando relaja un poquito. Todo esto la idea es estirarlo para que luego puedan operar, ¿no? Claro, es ir poco a poco tratando la contractura. Porque tampoco puedo tratarla si el perro no apoya y no puedo hacer yo un poco de ejercicio. Claro. Y también la lismania. <ríe> Hay que tenerla un poco controlada antes de entrar aquí, Juan. Bueno. Yeah. Tienes un conflicto tú. ¿Quieres comer algo? Me quiero ver. Ay, mira, no quieres muy contento. Hi, we're on the way to the hospital. We're gonna check on Noah. Well, that's my kid, Oscar. Hello. And that's Ginebra as well. Hello. Today is a bank holiday here, so I'm taking them to the hospital with me to check on the animals. They wanted to meet Noah. Um, I left. Oscar, please. I'm sorry, this is gonna be a funny video. So today we're gonna go check up on her and uh, the kids are gonna be playing with some of the animals and it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice day. Let's see how it goes. Como nos está gustando Semana Santa. ¡Qué caritas tenéis, Marmona! ¿Cómo están de Semana Santa? Qué, qué, ¡Qué monos! ¡Me los traigo! ¡Qué monos! Me parece muy bien. Claro. Miren. Muy bien. Felicinas. Aquí hay una gira de colores y aquí hay una sala. Mira. Donde, donde se hace fisioterapia. They are so curious. They are checking everything. It's crazy. ¿Queréis venir a ver a los perritos? Sí. Vení, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver a los perritos que están malditos, ¿vale? ¿Puedo es entrar? Sí, puedes entrar. Qué monos son. Ese es Coffee. ¿Ves? A Coffee no. Coffee buenísimo y le vamos a. No, 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 no pasa nada. ¿Ves? Se ha, se ha pegado el susto, Oscar. Se ha asustado. Es Noah, esa es Noah y es buenísima. Mira. Noah, hola. Ven, ven para acá, Oscar. Que te la presento, ven. Que es que le has dado un susto, ven, ven. Hola, Noah. No, no, tiene que estar aquí tratada y luego se va a la casa grande. Ya está allí, ya está bien. Porque la están cuidando muy bien allí. Muy bien. Míralos. Oscar, como tienes la, la jirafa, mira, mira, mira. En serio. Si es que no lo puedo evitar. No lo puedo evitar. Mira, mira, mira. Son divinos, ¿eh? Mira, mira. Anda. Tocadita la vez las manos, va. Pero si te encantan los gatitos. Venga, va, tocadita, no pasa nada, venga. Los chihuahuas tienen cara de. ¿Qué pasa? Son súper bonitos. Mira, mira, mira. Los chihuahuas tienen cara de. 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 Los chihuahuas tienen cara ¿Ahora lo cogerás? No, no. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Cómo que pica? No te daña, pero esos, esos son pequeños arañitos de gatito normal. Tenéis que pensar un nombre para ver y tenemos que saber si es chico o chica. Ahora lo vemos. Ahora lo miraremos. There's a kitty here. La home. So. Podemos coger. My kids love him. But the problem is that my son cannot have cats because he's allergic, very allergic. So we can make. Have a photo of it. Come here. Come here. Look at my nose. I want to 
¡Ostras! ¿Qué es esto? Ese es un gato gigante. Oh, sí, que es gigante. Fíjate, mira, mira cuántos hay. We're gonna try to find a home for this cat and the other kitties that are there. There are four of them. Venga, Oscar, puedes tocarlos en guantes, que luego te lavas las manos. Luego te... venga, venga, va. Ahora vente, vamos, venga, pequeña José. No quiere irse. Vuelve, vuelve. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, la semana que viene le vamos a operar la pata. ¿Y su casa? Nosotros lo que hacemos, Oscar, es les salvamos y les encontramos casas nuevas. No podemos quedarnos todos los, todos los perros nosotros. Hombre. Pues a la Molly, están todos hoy, ¿eh? Madre están mía. Todos, madre mía. Toda familia. Mira. ¿Puede entrar a tocar? Sí. Oscar, no te. La cabeza no. Pero sí. te tiene que oler. Ya no sé, pero no está en la No. ¿Qué le gusta? Ahí está, con Molly. Sí, vale, vale, vale. Miradme, miradme los tres. Mirad la cámara. ¿Qué pasa? Pobre, está súper ansioso. El gato no, eh. Tira polla, eh. Sí, sí, a veces que apoya. abajo con él, ¿eh? <risa> Menudas liado en casa de Greg, ¿eh? Parece que apoya incluso, ¿eh? Sí, sí, está mucho mejor. Por fin llegó el día.
Ai, se abuda! Que bien! Ai, peguei nele! Eso es como caspa, ¿no? De, de sí. piel sensible. Todo es secundario la leismania que tiene, ¿no? Tenemos que comernos toda especie de tejido óseo fibrótico que se ha formado por la no unión, ¿vale? Y posteriormente habrá que eh, cortar el hueso para poder alinearlo y eh, comprimirlo. Eh, y posteriormente le meteremos injerto óseo de la pelvis en la tibia para fomentar la osteosíntesis y la, y la formación de calle óseo. Eso ha llevado dos, ¿no? Sí. Creo que en esto no es para adoptar. ¿Quieres que te estires un poquito la piel o que te posicione bien? Lo que tú me digas, es más cómodo. Vamos a trabajar primero con la con Nina. Sí.
they're just gonna bring coffee. Coffee is his dog that we rescued a month and a half ago. He's been here on treatment because we had to do something with his leg, the contract the leg. And then he was finally operated last week and the surgery went very well. So now we're gonna see how he's doing. Muy bien, campeón. So coffee's doing very well, but he's not stepping on the leg yet. So we're gonna continue with physiotherapy and then, well, let's see how it goes. It's looking good. José, ¿me puedes llamar a Constantino, por favor? Sí, por favor. Pues yo se la veo muy húmeda, tío. Yo no le ponía vendaje, pero bueno, es mi opinión. Luego... Está sedado, ¿no? Sí, sí. Mira. No apoya, ¿eh? No apoya nada. Sí, voy a ponerme unos guantes y lo palpo, ¿vale? Vale. A ver, la piel no está inflamada, ¿vale? Simplemente uh -huh. eh, lo que pasa es que aquí había un callo óseo, uh -huh. ¿vale? T todo, este, todo este defecto que ves tú aquí uh -huh. es un callo óseo que uh -huh. no, no se retiró para no debilitar el hueso. Uh -huh. A ver, yo a lo mejor lo cubriría, pero si no, si no queréis meterle tanta crema ni tanta cosa... Yo no le pondría tanta crema, tanta, un poco de aceite de ozono y ya está. ¿Le hago un láser o qué? Sí, pues láser, solo irá, irá bien. Una, dos y tres. Muy bien. Ok, gracias. Sí. Pero eso se le hizo después, ¿no? En serio. Pero sale así porque sí o de apoyar o. Es como están con el sistema inmune bajo y tienen la piel muy delicada. Es por la Alemania, ¿no? Esta es una... Por favor, vamos a poner un beso de frío. Esta es la castaña que tiene ahí. Vamos a poner un don alrededor. Que se lo fijaremos vale. para que no apoye directamente vale. por la boca. Perfecto. Es como en humana, un cojín. Muy bien. Voy a ver si de aquí a un par de semanas y eso me lo llevo yo, pero va a ser complicado.
Son tan neutrófilos. No he visto nada, ¿no? Una... No, hay neutrófilos porque está inflamado, pero no, no hay infección, así que tú digas... No. Ya ves, la, es que la... Has usado la poca ¿Quieres que te ponga los puntitos yo? Yo creo que es mejor, ¿no? Y yo, de la mano del maestro. Entonces, ¿qué pasa? Que esto ya no toca la herida, el, está protegida. Entonces, unos puntos. En casa de acogida daría un cambio como no va. Hombre, eso es lo que necesita una familia. El domingo me lo llevé yo a la casita por la mañana. Sí, ¿qué tal? Soporto muy bien. Es que es una animal que encaja. ¿Le cogéis la campana y la consulta dos? Vamos. Te llevas tú sola ahí. Estar 24 horas meses con campana es... Pila de baix. De tota manera, hi hauria que rasurar tot, hasta aquí, el genollet, només. No fa falta més. La part de fora també, no? Sí, 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 tot. Aquesta màquina... Bueno, no sé per què no, no fa la primera vegada. Da igual, no sé per què, mira, tot l'inicia bé. Tiene mucho mejor el mono, ¿has visto? Un par de días que le hemos puesto su RB3000 mm. Ya no tiene las costas Las orejas las tiene mejor Ostras, si quieres ¿A que sí? Mm. ¿Qué le habéis puesto? B3000 y le hemos limpiado con un poco de suero Pero si sí, lo haces que emita hidratante Si lo haces todos los días, como el pobre no se puede ni rascar ni nada Y tiene otitis, ¿eh? ¿Te acuerdas? Hombre, claro, es que se sacude con la cabeza cuando... ¿Qué os digo? Cuando lo lleváis a pasear, sí. fijaros. Sí, se rasca. Lo llevan a pasear sin, y sin campana y no paraba de, de sacudir la cabeza. Pinchale alfa, el Doberman a Pelco. Cuidado que es un poco serril, ¿eh? Eso es para alfa. Alfa es un Doberman que está en las consultas de allá. Subcutáneo, sí.
Básicamente un tornillo por otro, ¿no? Sí. Misma medida y todo, eso no. depende, depende Mismo de Mismo grosor, distinta longitud. Es que en, en la parte medial estaba a uno, un par de milímetros de la línea articular, pero en la parte lateral estaba muy al límite de la línea articular y puede ser que algún paso de rosca eh, invadiera la superficie. Que a mí a la presión y extensión no me daba la, la sensación cuando lo metí. Creía que estaba un poquito más lejos, pero en la radiografía de control se ve un poquito al límite, muy al límite. Entonces lo cambiamos, nos quedamos tranquilos. Muy bien. ¿Ha quedado bien? Muy bien. Vale, vamos a ver. Básicamente lo que hemos hecho ha sido incluir este tornillo y eh, hemos sustituido el tornillo este largo que iba por aquí. Lo hemos sustituido porque pasaba muy al filo de la línea articular, que es esta. Pasaba por, por encima, justo por encima. ¿vale? Entonces eh, lo he sustituido por uno más cortito, que aquí sé que hay un margen de seguridad frente a la línea articular y el trayecto del tornillo y así no debilitamos el hueso y no lo he direccionado hacia arriba porque tengo justo el tornillo más distal de la placa anterior lo tengo ahí entonces lo hubiera tenido que redireccionar demasiado y creo que así con estos dos hace mejor fuerza la placa ¿vale? Muy bien. Que le doy yo que le snap, que lo, le, le retiene mucho y le encanta, ya verás. ¿Para quién es esto? ¿Para quién es esto? ¿Para quién es esto? ¿Eh? Se pone nervioso. La puerta, la puerta. Toma cofi, toma cariño. ¿Has visto? ¿Se lo pasa a ¿Te gusta, verdad, cariño? Gracias, mamá. ¿Ves? Este es el dono para que la úlcera. Sí. ¿Cómo lo ves? Es bastante bien, ¿no? Le puse, le puse un color estupendo. Limpiamos bien esta parte y. Sí. ¿Te ponemos solo el miel? Sí, déjame que voy. ¿Tienes o no tienes? En la nevera. Suero para sí. quitar el pegamento. Quédate ahí, hijo. Te he puesto un buen trozo de aloe ahí, ¿has visto cómo ha caído? 
Qué bien, oye. Nos ha quedado de maravilla. ¿Eso que lo habéis puesto qué es? Esto es un apósito que lleva como una esponja adherida para que no haga presión sobre la úlcera. ¿Y el liquidito? Aloe, miel, miel es una, aloe. una mezcla que hemos hecho de, de miel con aloe vera. Ah. Qué bien se porta, ¿eh? ¿Has visto el pelo que bien lo lleva? Es que lo estamos cepillando con un champú eh, de estos en espuma todos los días para mejorarle la calidad del pelo, ¿eh? Y para quitarles todas esas costritas que son secundarias a la leismania que tiene. O sea, tiene, tiene mucho mejor color, ¿eh? Este es un perro feliz, o sea, es que es felizón, es... Todo le viene bien. Tiene un carácter... ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué haces? Coffee. Eh, vale. ¿Vas a dormir un rato? ¿Vas a dormir? Chico, bueno. no, Dios. Oh, chico. Oh, mira, mira, mira. Bien, ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Mira, mira. ¿Ves cómo juega? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Eh? ¿Qué? 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 O de momento aquí ya está el animalito. Aquí está más espacioso. Y así ve a la gente, ve a la calle, le da el solecito. Hola, pequeñín. Hola, mi chica. The longer I waited, the more that I've tried. All the years that I've wasted, trying to find. Ahora pues, ya hemos terminado el paseíto. Muy bien. Muy bien, chicos. Vamos a por agua. ¿Qué tienes hoy, pequeñín? Tiene hace calor, ¿eh? Mucho calor. Qué buena, ¿eh? Qué fresquita. Aquí a la sombrita está fresquita el agua. Ay, sí, mira, te llenaste de hierbas del paseo. Muy ¿Qué? guapo, ¿eh? Este perro. Sí, es súper lindo. Este es para sacarle los nudos que tiene. Está mudando ahora de pelo. Qué cara más guapa tengo. Qué carita más guapa. Mira qué peino por aquí. Mira qué guapo soy. Sí. Mira qué guapo más grande tengo. Venga, vamos a jugar. Venga para aquí. 
Pero sin correr. Pero sin correr. Pero sin correr. ¿Ah? Mira. Hola, Ale. Mira qué guapo soy. Mira. Qué guapura de bebé. Ay, con calorcito que estamos todos. Ay, chico. Ay, chico. Ay, chico. Ay, chico. ¡Ay, qué rico! ¡Otro! ¡Ay, qué rico! ¡Mira otro! ¡Aquí! ¡Muy bien! ¡Mira! ¡Ay, qué cosa! ¡Ay, qué cosa más bonita! ¡Ay, qué cosa más bonita! ¿Te vas a portar bien al viaje? ¿Sí? Oh, there is beauty to enjoy on this road But even so ¿Qué tal? ¿Eh? Te vamos a revisar la urcerita esa. ¿Eh? Parece como que intenta chuparse morderse algo, pero bueno, tampoco le daría mayor importancia. No, vamos a ver si es que le pica o le... Bueno, todavía tiene aquí callo fibroso, vamos a esperar un poco a hacer radiografía. ¿Semana que viene? Vamos a esperar un mes más para hacer radiografía. Ah, para hacer placa. Fíjate que callo tiene aquí, mira. Claro. Mira, verás, si te tocas aquí. Sí, sí. Mira, hay un bulto. Eso es el callo, sí. que se está haciendo un callo grande, ¿sabes? Los puntos de aquí se los quitaron. Este. Ah, muy bien. Este. Aquí es que ni le molesta el clavo, así que es un clavo también. Esta, esta está súper bien. No estaba. Vamos, como ahí, mira, mira, con qué fuerza puede Sí, 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 sí. Esto está muy bien, o sea, esto a nivel de hueso está muy bien. Voy a ver la, la otra, la anterior. Esta fue la de antes de la cirugía. Todo eso estaba unido de mala manera. ¿Sabes? Si el hueso viene por aquí. Uh -huh. Y este hueso viene con ah, entonces eso se está uniendo así. Sí, sí. Entonces lo que se hizo fue cortar y cortar y ponerlo claro, correcto claro, claro, claro. y voy a poner el hueso de la cadera. Ah, vale, yo perfecto. lo veo fantástico, ¿eh? Vale. Lo veo fantástico, o sea, del tema del... Ahora le reviso la, la herida y te... Vale, y luego ya hablamos de medicación de continuidad sí. con COFI, ¿no? y de aquí un mes de medicación no necesita nada ya de medicación, salvo que tenga una infección en la herida esa y tal. Quita puntos de pata derecha y de herida, vale. cirugía, úlcera, pata izquierda. ¿Recuerdas de esta sala? ¿Recuerdas de esta sala? ¿Cómo le lleva? Le he puesto crema con sí, miel para que sí. termine de cicatrizar, pero vamos, el tío está... Vale, lo tiene muy bien. Eres tú un, un poco quejica, Kofi. Mira cómo apoya, está fantástico, ¿eh? El tío, vamos. A ver, te hemos dado la chuche. No, ¿verdad? Ah, otra chuche. ¿Y ¿Sí sabes lo que es esto? Ahora no la vas a coger. Ah, ¡Qué feo! ¡Qué tío! ¡Qué digno eres, Kofi! Eh, hoy es jueves, el, sí. el lunes podéis llevarle vale. y, y que lo revise, está súper bien, mira. Es que a lo mejor hasta... Depende, si se toca mucho o no se toca, se puede hasta quitar. La cosa es que no se empiece a la media... Ya. Que no se toque, que no se un toque. poquito hasta que <ríe> se haga más bien. Hasta que le, hasta que le salga el pelo al pobre. Así ah, es. Sí, que ya sin follar. ¿Está bueno o qué? A ver si le sobornábamos con esto al principio. Así te relajas un poco. Adiós, hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós. Así. Espera, la primera. Esto es lo, para mí es lo más complicado, ¿eh? La, la colocación de las marchas. Mira, 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 está, pero está quemado. Ay, qué miedo. Qué fuerte. Ya, es como se come el bordillo. Ya verás, ya. Se lo va a comer. ¿El seguro? ¿Hemos sacado un buen seguro para esto? Hostia. Hostia, otra rotonda. 
No, por Dios. Es que la tenemos liada, ¿eh? Si hay un accidente ahora, te estás, te estás cagando de miedo. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, madre mía. Vale, ya. Mira, 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 hay otro que me viene por aquí. Bueno, no sé. <risa> How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Come in and meet the family. Perfect. Come in. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. It's very nice. Oh, Laika. Hola, guapa. Hola. Does she remember you? Qué grande. Very big. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. A bit of fat. <laughs> I'm a little bit. <laughs> wow, Quite often they're over our garden and if Micah's got um, a dog treat uh -huh. they will come down and pick it up. Oh she doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> She likes to go in the garden and just check, but it's all as she left it. <laughs> Let's get you in the car. This is the first. Oye, pues así a lo tonto a lo tonto. Aquí tenemos en Inglaterra a Daches, a Fred, a Victoria, a Laika y ahora a Kofi. Oye, pues sí que podríamos hacer una buena ruta, ¿eh? ¿Les ponemos música de los Beatles? Con una furgoneta. Bueno, pues nada, nos vamos con la lluvia a buscar a Coffee. Vamos. Yeah. <laughs> It's very confused. Very crazy, this round. <laughs> 
Okay, you look at the camera, everyone. Coffee. Hi, you are thirsty. Very thirsty. Yes. <laughs> well, I like us a bit, little bit touchy about her food, isn't she? So we'll have to feed them in different places. Yes, yeah. I think it's better. Yes, two times. Yeah, two times. Two. Two. two times. In the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like ah, like <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> the best friends. Yeah. Now the best friends. Now best friends. Okay, yeah. it's for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, when you get some coffee, nervous. coffee. Te veremos otro día. Sí. 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 Yes. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you very much. I hope your injuries get better. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> bye. bye. Take care. Bye bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you. Thank you because it is because of people like you that we can do what we do. Thank you for being here. Please donate. Help us continue saving lives like a Chico and Coffee.